Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. Today is a Saturday and I've spent all day taking my son, he's just turned one, to Imperial War Museum Duxford where we've been looking at all kinds of awesome aeroplanes. And I got back thinking, oh it's going to be a lovely relaxing uh, evening and I logged on just to speak to my friend CH just to check something with him about an SU-57 and he said, oh by the way Cap, I've made a massive new detailed SAM site for DCS, do you want to come and shoot stuff at it with me? And I said, yes. Hello CH. Hello. S350. So how do we explain this? A lot of rushers main SAM systems have the designation S. So there was an S200 known as the SA5 to NATO. There was the S300 known as SA10, SA12 and possibly others to NATO. There was the S400, everyone knows of that, known as the SA21 to NATO. But there was also the S350. Can you tell us a bit about this? Because it's new. It was introduced in 2020, only three years ago. Why is this a, a thing? Also, it's newer than the S400, but it has much less range. There are different categories. I mean, this one was actually, I think, the start of development in the late 90s together with South Korea. So it was a joint venture between South Korea and Russia. I think they developed both this system and the, the 9M96 missile, which also is uh, the smaller one used on the S400. Uh, and this is, uh, as mentioned, a different category. Since this is a medium range SAM system as opposed to the S400, which is the long range and also medium range stuff. But this has the, the medium range and the short range. Do we know how affordable it is as compared to an S400? I know a full S400 suite is point three billion dollars yeah as this is a, a system they are also exporting and it's a medium range system so it's probably meant to be more cost efficient than the s400 for uh, the kind of, of uh, areas this is supposed to to work in i mean we have seen it in pictures from the russia ukraine war right now uh, guarding russian air fields for example so you are deploying it i think we was read about it was used uh, in an automatic mode uh, where they actually, uh, with the help of AI, it's what they say, it will actually track and uh, defeat targets uh, without intervention from an operator. Mm. So, yeah, it's it's at least uh, by Russian standards a very modern system. Needless to say, it's a mod by CH. It's freely available to all, and I will put the link in the video description. It features a 50K6 command post, a 50N6 search and track radar, a 50P6 9M 96D launcher, and a 9M 100 launcher. The D carries 12 missiles per tell. The 100 carries 32 missiles per tell. That is amazing, CH. Why so many missiles per tell? An S400 has, well, on average, four. Uh, it's uh, also meant to, to take care of uh, and, uh, swarm attacks. Uh, we see a lot of drone attacks nowadays. So, And since all these, uh, both these types of missiles are uh, radar uh, homing seekers, uh, so they can actually, they aren't depending on, on uh, final homing from the radar. So they can work independently. And actually the 32 missiles, I think a lot of people, uh, when this was released, actually thought they were going to be 48. Because usually when you have uh, the 12, they, they uh, come in quads when you make the smaller missiles. Uh, I think uh, they can go in quads on the ships, uh, but on these uh, land-based launchers, the size, uh, it was a little too big, so they can only fit 32 of them instead of 48. A 96L6 search radar optional. Why is this optional? That's uh, the one you can see uh, down to the left. It can be added to the S300 or S it's actually part of the S400 and can actually be added to the 350 uh, as a longer range search radar. As you can see to the right, it has around 160 nautical miles. The uh, 50N6 has 108. You can set it, for example, to scan very low flying aircraft so that the, the uh, certain track radar doesn't have to do all the work. Uh, so it's, it's an addition. And when you have it, uh, you will uh, get uh, better target acquisition. Two types of missile, the uh, 9M100 short range and the 96D medium range. In terms of ranges, the search radar for the long radar, 162 nautical miles for the Standard search and track radar, 108 nautical miles. For the short-range missile, the 9M100, 8 
nautical miles. And for the medium range missile, the 9M96D, 80 nautical miles. And here we have the units in 3D. Let me just uh, get them up and started. And then we're going to have a look in great detail. So you can see some legs coming out for stability. Search track radar going up. The, the uh, extended radar going up. The tails are going up. Very nice. Start with the command post. In terms of quality, it's everything you expect now from a CH mod. It's all 4K textures and all super high res and stuff like that. That's command post. We have the search and track radar. That's the search and track radar, isn't it, CH? Yeah, that is correct. Um, are these all on the same vehicle? What Do we know what vehicle this is or what classification it is? Or? Yeah, it's uh, one of the standard MOS trucks. Uh, they are, as you can see, in six wheel configurations or eight wheels. We even have yeah, exactly the search radar. It's an even bigger vehicle, but you have seen it before uh, loaded with missiles and other stuff. Uh, you have seen it on the Bastion, the anti ship uh, yes. stuff we looked at. So, yeah, they are using you know, a couple of these uh, trucks. They are using for a lot of things. Uh, why is the search and track radar spinning at like many times more frequency than the long range radar? Yeah, they can be actually be configured in a different uh, mode. I have set this search radar here in a much slower mode when it's actually looking for uh, very low flying targets. And that's uh, how it is supposed to be configured with the, the speed. Uh, uh, while the, the other one, which <laughs> looks like it's uh, really going on, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, yeah to actually uh, all the time make sure it's uh, one rotation per second or 60 RPMs. Roger. So it's yeah keep it track on the sky all the time. So this wow can't get over how many missiles, how many cells per tell. That is absolutely amazing. So that is the 100. That's the short range missile. Although they actually look pretty big compared to the truck. That's an impressive piece of kit, viewers. And then uh, we've got the 96D, the longer range or medium range technically missile, about 80 nautical miles range. You can see they're a lot longer and fatter missiles actually. Can you drive these vehicles, CH, in game? Yeah, yeah, you can actually yeah, nice. you can drive them. But that's more of a novelty since you can't really uh, launch. Yeah. But you can drive it and have all the, the gear, gear ratio and all that stuff. I think it's like some of them have 12 <laughs> gears <laughs> forward. <laughs> So viewers, you're going to now want to see us throw a bunch of stuff at this S350 to see how it performs. So uh, we'll do some stuff just for fun and some stuff a bit more serious. Why don't we start with a Vietnam era B-52 arc light raid. We'll put 10 or maybe 20 B-52s flying at 20, 30,000 feet. They're going to strafe this thing with bombs, see how it does against that. Then why don't we do kind of late Cold War supersonic bombers, B-1s flying at one or two hundred feet several of them see how that does then we'll try something really low we'll try me in a f16 or 15 or something flying super low see how it can defend against that and then uh, a more modern more realistic attack something like an aircraft firing decoys modern decoys like the adm 160 mal in conjunction with modern low visibility cruise missiles like the european storm shadow Right, first of all, arc light raid viewers. I've got 20 some B 52s at 20 something thousand feet. Here they go. Raw, I am an arc light bombing raid from 1960s, late 1960s. We've set the site up in what should be a standard battery. That is, we've got the uh, CP, we've got the search and track radar, we've got the uh, optional uh, long range radar, we've got four tails, three of which are the 96 missile, and one of which is the more plentiful. 100 missile. When will it fire? If it fires, which I'm sure it will. In fact, oh, 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 oh missile what? just came up. Ah, sorry, bad timing, viewers. They're, um, and then did you say they were pneumatically launched? Yeah, it is a cool launch, exactly. It will pop up and then it will uh, engage the, the booster. Right, and uh, that's already the. That's the 96s that are coming out. Oh, sorry, they're getting ahead of me here, viewers. One, two, three. Yep, here they come. Yeah, you need to remember that each B 52 is around 100 square meter in RCS. So they're going to see them for a long way away, but they're just firing at the maximum range. Yeah, it's an 80 nautical miles. Uh... So this is the 9M916. Now, is this the same missile? It looks very familiar as the shorter range one on the S400 
Yeah, that's correct. Uh, the 400 has uh, the larger one, and this has the the more medium range. And this the 350 has uh, this has the large one for medium range and a shorter range one. And but this is actually the latest version, 96D. There are several versions of them, and this one is the uh, domestic version. So I have set it for 150 kilometers or 80 nautical miles at range uh, because they always restrict the export versions, the ones called with an E at the end. That's correct. Um, I'm gonna, sorry if I got this wrong with viewers, but I think the other version we have of this missile in the S400 site is the export version with a slightly less range. And speaking of exporting versions of your missiles that are weaker than your domestic product, that is completely normal actually for aeroplanes as well. Um, China does it as well with their PL15, they, they produce a less powerful model for the export market as you would like as if you were giving raptors away to other countries you would probably nerf them a bit so they're not as good as your raptors that kind of makes sense right here we go i don't think anyone really thinks these bombers are going to survive because there's no reason why they should uh, they do have um, ecm jammers on board viewers which i'm pretty sure i enabled in this attempt but it's, it's not like looking like it's doing very much no it would take a miracle i mean Gonna shake them off. They're such big targets. <laughs> and these for a are uh, active radar homing missiles also, and the targets are enormous. Roger. Oh dear. Yeah, that's a, a one-way mission. Uh, this kind of thing was moderately successful in 1960s viewers, but not so much in 2020s. Um, I say moderately because you know these buffs got shot down by SA2s in 1960s as well over Vietnam. That's a much inferior sound system. Um, what head size on the missile, please, CH? Yeah, it's a bit a small one, about around uh, 24 kilos or 50 pounds. Okay. Uh, it's more of a hit to kill missile than it yeah. was. It was a very accurate missile. Uh, obviously, it would be because it's got its own radar on board, AMRAM style. Some got through, and they're going to finish them off. Uh, what we probably saw there, viewers, uh, what we probably saw was enough missiles go out to take them all down. But because each of these has their own radar on it um, in the terminal phase, they'll make their own decision which B 52 to go for. So they probably disobeyed orders and locked onto a different B 52. Uh, I expect that's a thing that probably happened there. And even though uh, they have their own radars, it doesn't uh, turn them on. Uh, until it gets closer, yeah. and the SC-50 only have capacity for 16 simultaneous channels. Uh, right, so so is that it mean it can fire 16 missiles at once? Yeah, but then, then when they get close enough so that the uh, internal radar will take over, then they can send up another batch, as we saw now. Yeah, gotcha. Came in two batches. Right, I think that's two left. Yeah, we had a total of 12 times 3. Yep. 960. Yeah. One has getting suspiciously close to getting through. Huh. I take the back, they're all dead. Uh, let's go and have a look at the site out of interest, see how many we shot roughly. So only the night. Oh, well, look, look at that. Fully drained. Yep. 12. Was it 12? 12, yeah. Fully drained. Yep. 12. We nearly got through there. Fully drained 12. Yep. Wow. So that is, sorry, what, what was 12 times 3? 40? 36. 36, sorry. So we shot 36 missiles there to kill yep. 20. I actually didn't count viewers, I think it was 22 aircraft. Uh, so the actual PK was moderately low, but that was actually because of the way the missiles were working. They were choosing targets that the CP here didn't choose, which is a thing with Fox 3 yeah. missiles, I'm afraid. That is, uh, why is that where in real life uh, arc light bombing raids don't ex exist anymore? You don't send big lumps of bombers up anymore. Yeah. And I tried to make it a little more realistic with the PKs, I worked a lot on that. And also, I'm really glad settings actually work, that it sometimes sends more than one when it's uh, not sure if that is enough. Uh, yeah. So that's actually good. It, it, it becomes a little sterile if it only sends one missile at every target. So I think it's working pretty great. Well, Jerry, if you're following uh, current uh, mods at the moment, viewers, you'll know he's going through them and adding that extra layer of realism. As they do in the core game, they do that as well. They go through and add another layer of realism a year later down the line or something like that. Right, um, that was not obviously a surprise to anyone. So let's go and shake it up a little bit, viewers. We're going to add eight B1Bs. They are starting much closer because they're low down. So the line of sight of the uh, curvature of the Earth is hiding them. So about 30 miles out. Uh, they're traveling about 200 feet above ground level as fast as they can go down here, which is about Mach 1.2, I think. Um, let's see what happens. Uh, predictions, how do you think Bone is going to do? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
with the addition of the extra radar we have that actually uh, can see very very close to the ground I, I yeah with the two radars in conjunction here I I think they're gonna have a really hard time to get through again it's uh, uh, the, the, the previous one was an early Cold War solution um, to bombing oh pause this is a late cold war solution to bombing kind of 1980s i suppose you would have seen these b1s hugging terrain with their terrain hugging ability at supersonic speeds it was that was how they planned to get through at that time and it's looking like that's not going to work very well either because they've already seen them at they would have to hug a lot more than that i think yeah i mean um these are moderately stealthy b1s but i mean when i say moderate i mean not really at all it's still bigger radar yeah. cross-section than like an f-15 yeah, yeah. or something so a modern radar picks this up easy no problem it's just 40 years too late and i think we're about to see what happens to 40 years too late it's a nice sleek looking aircraft but the important thing is that the aircraft looks sexy and the engine sounds yeah. good yeah see, all, all our four pixels look great right um <laughs> yeah about that yeah 1980s tech or well we never be one but 1980s yeah i think so yeah, yeah. everything is older than you ever think yeah yeah <laughs> Just doesn't suit 2020 Sam's very well. Yeah, they're gonna have a hard time ejecting in time. Yeah, they are. Look away now, viewers. If you don't like watching bones blown up, and I don't. Actually, I like watching everything get blown up. I like. Oh, that guy ejected right into the tree. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Embarrassing for <laughs> The altitude of the ejection <laughs> there is great. Yeah. Any more than a Martin Baker to get out that? I want to see the sight. Yeah. Oh no, I can't. They're slowing down, viewers. They're slowing down. I don't know why that is. They definitely started supersonic. Yes, it does. I think they, their mates started blowing up and they just bottled it. <laughs> yeah, they saw, the, saw that guy's yeah. parachute two meters above ground. Yeah, no one thought that was going to work, viewers. Plus, you can't force them that low because they're AI-driven. Mm. Um, you, you know, they can only do 200 feet, and a plane that big, 200 feet above the ground, is actually quite a spectacle. So, let's let me have a go going super low, viewers. I'm going to put myself in an F-16, if I can find it. And let's see how well I can do. I'm going to start 20-odd miles away at 50 feet off the ground, pretty much. See if I can get in there and drop some big, sleek bombs. Okay, viewing to Wilmington's. Let's try and get this going. Air to ground, control check, master arm on. Set up pretty much ready to bomb. Stair point, stair point, where's the stair point symbol? There it is, right. Okay, Bewingtons, let's do a thing. 20 miles away. Need some fancy flying. We will do indeed. See if you need some fancy flying. Luckily, my wing wing is now fully repaired, Bewington Wingtons. My spring has arrived. And look at this. Yes, oh. We do the things and stuff. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I'll take it back. There's a tiny bit of undulation here. Not enough to hide a B1, but enough to hide an F-16. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty low. Yeah. Got to go below tree height at all level. It's blocked onto me. You hear that, viewers? <laughs> Got to get lower. Oh, well, no. Obviously, I'm getting a little bit too fast. Start, start losing control if I go too fast. And my theory is, viewers, as long as I'm below the top of the tree canopy, I should be all right, because he's never going to get line of sight of me. And does it have an R minimum, the small missile? If so, do we know what it is? I'd love to know. VH. Yeah, I think it's around a kilometre uh, yeah. you know, range. And the, the large one is two and a half kilometres. Right, I can live with that. If you're looking uh, to work out what the symbology means, viewers, the things you're interested in is the diamond. You see the diamond? That's where the SAM is, waypoint one. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to know, to be honest. So that's why they pro probably uh, would have a uh, Panzer right? Yes, of course. In the, in the, yep. in the real world. Yeah, you would have a Panzer, which obviously is for close range, but obviously I'm not doing that today. Um, and that begs the question as well, S400, S300, those things tend to have big radars on masts. Does this have that option? Yeah, exactly. Like the, the extra optional radar we have here, it, it's also another one that will uh, extend very high that you can use to get down or actually look up also. So uh, there is one more. I will say I might uh, add that one too. Roger, they have found me. I don't know how they found me, they found me. And it's all done legally, viewers. You can't cheat. Radars can't cheat in DCS. They can't look through stuff. So it did find... Oh, so I've lost it. I've broken lock. Oh my god. Oh my god. They found me for a second. Would a pilot ever go this low? Probably not. It's pretty 
suicidal. Ah, that thing may be happening. I'm getting low, I'm getting low, I'm getting low, I'm getting low! <laughs> oh, well, uh, I'm not... Oh, yeah. Wow, you're all of a sudden landing like... Yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah, I'm not going below that radar. And like I said, it can't cheat viewers. It, it, it's, it's all modelled in-game, as I've tested in loads of videos that I'm not going to repeat because I don't need to. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Yeah, I'm not getting underneath that. That right. was low, yeah. It, it almost that you, if you had tried to extend your uh, your gear, it would have <laughs> probably hit the ground <laughs> before it extended. Right, viewers, um, we're going to go into something a bit more, I guess, realistic and pertinent. Stand by. This time, we're doing something which is happening in Ukraine as we speak, which is modern low observability, intelligent terrain hugging cruise missiles known as storm shadows are going to be fired. Four of them by this jet here, the Eurofighter. But preceding that, we're going to launch a bunch of MALDs, ADM-160 Modern Electronic Warfare Decoys, which again is happening in real life. In real life, there are MALDs being sent out to lay safe passages for the Storm Shadows, and they're hitting Russian targets in the contested areas. So we're going to replicate that here. So the MALD will come off this F-15E. Yes, I'm aware that's a horrendously unrealistic loadout, but I had to see how many I could get on. And we managed to get on 22, didn't we, CH? Which is kind of impressive. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to try landing it or taking it off or really doing anything on it other than literally just spawning in and firing them. But that technically, we've managed to shoehorn 22 of them. They'll fire ahead. These will go high and attract attention. That's their point. Then the storm shadows will go low behind them and try and sneak through. Uh, that's it. Do a thing. Storm shadows and, in fact, almost all munitions are much more complex in real life than they are in DCS, uh, in DCS said they're just going to fly forward and, and hit the target or be a drone. In this case, in real life, these uh, mouths can be actually quite intelligent. Uh, they can replicate different aircraft. They can do all sorts of things. They can follow waypoints to look like they're doing aircraft, doing missions and stuff like that. Um, yeah, the later, latest version of the MLJ actually is uh, an ECM platform. So it have different count of uh, electronic countermeasures also. Yeah. Sure, they're extremely complex. Yeah, but still not as uh, expensive as a cruise missile. Yes, exactly. I guess it's a constant war. Uh, maybe I choose the wrong word. There, a constant battle between um, the uh, mouth or the decoy developer and the the Sam. Yeah. These are of course power viewers, and they will go for literally hundreds. Of miles, um, Eurofighter is going to follow up with uh, his Storm Shadows. In fact, I better go and check the SAM site. Um, will it see the MAUD? Yeah, because the MAUDs are designed yeah. to be seen. They're designed to look like other aircraft up to a radar cross section of the same as those B 52s. Have I got that right, CH? Yeah, exactly. That is correct. And as I think you mentioned in another video, I mean, you don't want to be the commander that just guesses, takes a good guess, or the uh, the odds of it not being an actual cruise missile, mm -hmm. but being a decoy. I mean, right. you really need to shoot them down, all of them. I mean, who, how could you know? Whatever, yeah. if you're wrong, that could yeah. be pretty expensive. As we always say, viewers, if they're going in a silly straight line like this, obviously you know they're decoys. Um, but we can't make them do the waypoints and stuff like that. So you just have to take it with a pinch of salt. But it's okay because the AI in DCS are stupid. They will think that they are aeroplanes they will try and shoot at them storm shadows uh, they are low visibility low observability low reflectivity and they're going down to the ground no not a shot yet oh there, look at there we go there we go didn't take long they found the decoys obviously and they're going to shoot them down now this is interesting ch because they've got enough missiles to shoot them down but what if their pk is bad enough that they use all of their missiles up well that's what we're going to find out. We don't want to waste yeah. your valued, hard-earned time, viewers. So I'm going to skip this forward. And we're going to probably watch from that rear meld. One missed. I saw one miss. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, these are actually small toys. I mean, it's looking at something. It believes it's like a B-52. And when it gets there, it's a pretty small target. So it might, uh, it might mess the fuse up on the missile, then. Yeah. So the PK will absolutely not be one. Yeah. Some have got so that, I think that's pretty realistic, yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's see how many missiles have been drained, viewing this. That's what decoy is all about, draining missiles so they can't be used. Not, wow, drained. All, all of them. Drained. Freaking drained. All 36 
96D missiles drained and some Mauer ADMs have survived. They've done their job. They've done exactly yep. what they were supposed to do. Now, that is a surprise for us. CH did a really interesting thing there that you may or may not have picked up on. The Mauer can be seen by the radar, as you saw, it shot them. But the Mauer is a tiny, tiny little piece of metal, as you can see here. So the missile is expecting it to be a big bomber and it flies so to intercept it as if it is a big bomber, for instance. But then when it flies in that position, the fuse of the attacking missile doesn't work. It doesn't detect this thing because it's not actually a bomber. It's just a tiny little munition. And that may have even yeah. been modeled in what we did there. That's that's a really interesting piece of kind of pseudoscience. I'd love to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And especially like, I mean, the Night 6D is, as we mentioned, a hit to, to kill missile. It's mm -hmm. actually looking to actually hit it. Mm -hmm. I mean, as opposed to a lot of the larger ones that you have in the S400 with enormous fragmentation clouds. Right. We've right. obviously, as you know, viewers, we don't, you know, we don't pre-do these, so I have no idea what's about to happen. So, a thing, yeah, I imagine. Let's see. And the uh, the M100 uh, has around eight nautical miles uh, maximum range. Yeah. Wow. It's got what thirty-two of them. So it almost a quad. They were checked uh, in the beginning. They were looking to have uh, four of these uh, for every nine to six, but they only able to yeah. fit. Still pretty impressive. Two. I mean, just I'm yeah. impressed just having this many. Guys, compared to an S400 with you know four. Per tail, yeah. I think it's brilliantly. Anyway, this is what's about to happen. Bang! Bang! Very accurate missile, the looks of it. Take yeah. them out, no problems. Yeah, and what's interesting is they are actually, even though they're very small, they are actually uh, equipped with uh, active radar homing seekers. Yeah. So got their own radar on, yeah. Bang. Well, they certainly had no problems, viewers. Bang! Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's quite a few drains, CH. <laughs> this is really uh, touch and go. This is... Uh, I wouldn't put my mortgage on this. I don't know which <laughs> way this is going, if I'm honest. Okay, well, are these storm shadows going to be detected? Probably. We found modern, large, powerful modern radars can detect them in-game. Uh, whether that can happen in real life, I don't know. Probably they can. Yeah. Um, out. Missiles are out. They can see them. Oh, dear. They're almost certainly going to hit, viewers. Yeah. Oh, dear. Taken out, taken out. Ah, Storm Shadow's down. So what we saw there is these close-range missiles, these shore rads, doing their job. Hmm. Yeah. I must admit, I was hoping they were going to get through. Um, I'm going to mock up something real quick, viewers. Everyone wants to see the site be destroyed, so let me just do something. I think they wish they had their panzers now. Yes, they bet they wish they had their panzers <laughs> now, but the good Lord saw fit not to give them to them. Viewers, at this point, everyone wants to see S350 get blown up, including me, so uh, prepare for a thing to happen. We're just going to friggin' cheat. We are Grim Reapers, after all. We have a certain standard to live at. Oh, no, look how close I am. Right. How about that? Ha! Ah, this should be easy. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Pretty in close, the, yeah. Friggin' barrel. You watch them not blow up. Oh, 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 yes. I think I'll take that. 30 seconds reload time. It's arms, like a, he needs to do friggin' arms day. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. That's interesting. Oof! Oh, you know what? I wish I had that friggin' Ukrainian anti-material rifle. Yeah. That would be good <laughs> right now. Yeah. Oh, follows my cursor, I forgot that. Yeah, yeah. Fire guided. It's wire guided. Yeah, yeah, it's sending out a long wire. Oh man, I'm depleted. I haven't taken that behind the sight, right. As you saw, it shoots down all sorts of things. We've tried a B-52 arc light rage for lols, and it shot it down. A B-1 attack, supersonic low down for lols, and it shot it down. We tried a semi-serious low attack, and it shot me down about 10 feet, which is kind of annoying, but there you go. We then tried a whole bunch of mouths out, and it shot them all down just. And then it just managed to shoot the storm shadows down at close range with the close range missiles. This thing's going to be friggin' hard to kill. I don't know what to attack it with, to be honest. Yeah. Then we... Um, I I, I can mention, I have tried actually with uh, like Apaches with Hellfire, it will actually detect and take out Hellfires incoming. Wow, that's annoying. Do you think you can do that in real life? Yeah, I mean, it depends on which kind of Hellfire, if it's detectable mm -hmm. or not. Yeah. Because there are several types of them. In the end, viewers, we had to send in the Marines, and the Marines always clear up, so they <laughs> did it fine. Right, CH, uh, thanks for that. We'll report back when the next thing's out, and bye-bye for now.